Andrew is, is one of the longtime players. I think you're the only player that was here in 2020. So yes. for a guy who's been at UCF so long and never made a regional until this year, what was that reaction like when you realized you guys were probably going to play in the postseason? It was a dream come true. You know, that was always a goal since I've been here. And something we always knew that we could have done. And uh, just to see that finally come true, it's just uh, just amazing. What would you make of the bracket when you saw that reveal and you could go into Tallahassee? A lot of great teams now, but you know, like we we know our abilities, we know what we can do, and we're we're excited to get up there and show that to everybody. You guys, you guys ended up being one of the la name one of the last four teams into the tournament. When you think back about what you did in the Big Twelve tournament, and you look at where you guys ended up in the bracket, how big does that Big Twelve tournament mean to you? Yeah, I mean, obviously that helped a lot. Um, like we we always knew at the beginning of the year that we'd we'd make a regional. You know, being the last four in, like that, I'm sure like. You know, that wasn't the plan, but, you know, we made it in. That's all that matters, so. Does that, does that put a bit of a chip on your guys' shoulder to show that, you, like, we're better than that last four being last four in? Yeah, of course. You know, like, we know that we, we deserve to be here, and we're going to prove that this weekend. Andrew, when you went into the last, you know, going into the season, did you, did you feel like this team had the potential to get to the NCAA tournament? Oh, of course. I mean, I've thought that every year. It just hasn't panned out, but uh, this year for sure. What do you make of the competition that you're going to go up against? Yeah, it's great competition, but that's, uh, that's like every regional. Um, you know, we, we know our abilities and we're just ready to show that this weekend. Andrew, you guys needed to finish strong to solidify your chances to make a regional. How much was that in the back of your mind? And you played the Texas series, you played the Baylor series, you go to the tournament. I don't know if that was something you guys talked about publicly. How much was that weighing on you knowing that you needed to finish strong? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's like every year. Every year we want to finish strong. Um, but at the same time, like, when you're playing a team, you always want to beat them. And that's kind of how we attack every game. Just like win this pitch, win this inning. Uh, win this, you know, this specific game, and so that's how we attacked this end of the year, and it worked out. When you won the the second game in the tournament, you clinched the spot to go to the semis and beat Oklahoma State. Did you kind of feel it, maybe at that point, that we had done, we kind of felt more comfortable at that point, right? Yeah, we might have felt a little weight off our shoulders on that one, um, but we were so uh, caught up in just that tournament, like we just wanted to keep winning. We weren't really thinking too much about the. Uh, the, uh, the NCAA tournament coming up, but we just we just wanted to keep going and win every single game that we could. What was Rich's message to you guys after you found out you were in the tournament? Uh, just to know that we deserve to be there. Like we've proved it all year. We've proved it in the work that we put in, and just to keep doing our thing. What but, does it say about Coach Wall's first year as a head coach here at UCF when you get to the NCAA tournament? Oh, he's fantastic. Yeah, since the uh, first day that he was brought in, uh, we knew we were, he was special, and that the team, the guys that he brought in, were all special and that uh, we had a serious opportunity to go far in this thing. What makes you want to play for him? Oh, uh, just his charisma. Like, the, the fight that he brings to every single practice, to every game. Like, he's just, it's just a guy you want to play for. Andrew, what does it mean personally for you to continue playing? I mean, it doesn't matter what happens, you're playing. Like, I know you've had some shoulder soreness. You get nailed in the face again with a ball, you're bleeding for you, so you're not coming out of the game. So, how? How, how personally, how do you feel about the fact that you're going to continue playing baseball in your final year? I'm so excited. Yeah, this is what you dream about. So, uh, like, nothing's going to keep me out. Nothing's going to keep me from playing. So that's how, that's how I'm just going to attack every game. Well, what was that discussion like? Because we were watching on the broadcast, and you were bleeding a lot in that Baylor game. Like, did you say, Coach, I'm not coming out of the game. We just got to get this cleaned up. I'm yeah, we just had to make sure I didn't have a concussion or anything. And then uh, Coach Wallace came up to me. He was like, hey, Bray, you ready to go back in? And I was like, hell yeah. So. And then you're sporting, you're sporting one on one side, he had one on the other. Is that kind of yeah, thing? I used to have them on both, but uh, this one's starting to heal up, so now I just got this guy left. But uh, it's healing nicely. And then Coach Wallace joined you in get, the getting hit with the ball club. He's, I think he was a little jealous, he wanted some attention. <laughs> you guys started off slow in Big 12 conference play throughout the regular season. But then you guys went on a run near the end and you went on a good run in the conference tournament. What does it say about this team's response of how they're able to fight back and now be in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, that's just that's just baseball, you know. It's ups and downs. Um, but again, like we trust in our abilities, we uh, we trust in the guys next to us, and so we just put your head down and keep working. That's kind of our philosophy. What, what do you have to, guys have to do to to advance in this tournament to make some noise in the NCAA tournament? Just play nice baseball. Like uh, just trust in our pitching, trust in our defense. You know, put together some some gritty at bats. Like that's that's kind of our thing. So just trust in that. Both of your wins and in the Big 12 tournament ended up coming down to extra innings. What does it mean to you to be able to grind out a pair of wins like that to essentially prove your, you belong in the NCAA tournament in the fashion that you did? Yeah, like those were those were great teams that we played, and uh, just to be able to prove that 
we're we're among the, that caliber team, and just proving that uh, like we're 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 gonna grit through some games, we're gonna grit through some wins, and uh, just we had some tough guys in our locker room, and it kind of shows in those games. Is it nice to have a, a to be in a regional semi close to home where fans can kind of travel there within a day and be able to watch you guys play? Oh yeah, it means everything. You know the the night nation, the support. It, it means everything to us, and just be able to make it easier for you guys to travel. That, that's way better. During during the Cincinnati game and in in-game interview, Coach Wallace said that you guys needed to be able to capitalize on offensive opportunities. You were able to do that enough to get those two wins, but you certainly had several runners left on. When you think back about the Big 12 tournament, what do you think you're able to improve on offensively to maybe see some better results in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, just getting those uh, those big hits. You know, we had, like you said, we had a lot of guys on, and we uh, we kind of struggled to deliver that final blow. So. And that's just baseball, that's, that's how it is sometimes. We just keep putting together good at-bats and scoring some guys for the opportunities that we get. Was this your last year, you know, the difference between the last couple of years and this year, what is the difference between this team now and then before to give you guys this really strong push to go through? Uh, I mean, every, every single year we've had like a really close group of guys. Um, I got just one thing that stands out, just uh, like the strong, I mean, we're just a strong bond between the guys. Like, we're just, every time we show up to practice, we're, we're ready to go. We're hungry to prove that uh, we deserve to be here and that uh, we deserve to keep going in this tournament. So just, there's, there's a lot more hunger, I'd say. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.